All right. So this week, um, Linkara is joining us to uh, cover for Terra. Um, for uh, for for the nonsense, it's been a while since we've had you on. Yeah, but I can't remember when the last time was. It was. I want to say it was within the last two years, but beyond that, I do not recall. Well, um, the thing is, Tara has been remarkably here most of the time, and if she hasn't, it's been like at a, a short notice. So, like the first person I normally go to on short notice is like Luke or somebody. Um, but we we had a little bit more time to plan for this week, so it's good to have you here. It's been a while. Yep. Otherwise, I drag you onto my streams for like Among Us. Well, you don't have to drag me. It's just when I have time, I love to go and hang out with the uh, with y'all. Uh, in case, mm. in case you are somehow unaware, uh, Louis Lincara he uh, reviews lamps on the internet. Mm-hmm. Also, maybe comic books. I'm too. very good at it, if I do say so myself. Yes. yes. Um. But uh, yeah, we've uh, we've uh, got some stories tonight. Oh room. dear. Yeah, well, oh, oh the, I I don't know how this one happened, but the stars kind of aligned to make our first one relevant to having you on. Yay, <laughs> question mark. <laughs> Let's get the intro rolling here. Each week, Catherine, Radio Dead Air audience, go out in the worldwide interwebs, find all sorts of horrible stuff, bring back here for a little segment we like to call What the Fuck is Wrong With You? And, um... We uh we, we we kick off this week. It's a Magic Kingdom. It's it's some Disney. Uh, so uh, I already know what the title this week is going to be too. I, I I can't. I I'm pretty sure the audience is going to be able to guess as well. All right, I'm going to send it to you over on the Discord in the chat thing. Where's the Discord button? Discord. All right, let's send this over here. All right, let's start off in Florida, Orlando to be precise. Florida man poses as Disney World cast member, steals $10,000 R2-D2 droid, deputy say. All right, first of all, I'm going to have to take some issues with this article. To begin with, R2-D2 is an individual. He's not a droid. The make is an astromech. Not an R two D two. Secondly, that is not R two D two. That that gold and uh, a gray one that's in the picture there. That's not R two D two. I'm not exactly sure what the designation is, but that's not R two D two. So, and if you look at how it's spelled on the on the on the Chiron, R dash two dash D dash two. So, so, you call yourself news. Um, actually, if you scroll down, there's a picture of R2-D2, <laughs> and it's spelled correctly, so maybe that's what they're referring to. Oh, my God. So, so, I don't know why anyone's complaining about that. You just need two people to use that that, that, that Star Wars cruise tour, and everything will be okay. Or or to have that $6,000, what is it, drink they came up with? Did you see that? I didn't see that. Criminy in a handbasket. It's called a Kyber something. And it's six thousand six thousand dollars for a drink on the six. I don't know what's in it, but it's six thousand dollars. Well, if, if I'm paying six thousand dollars for it and you say a Kyber is in the name, that implies that they liquefied Kyber crystals. Yeah, and that's kind of like dangerous. But you know, if I'm drinking liquid lightsaber. You, I don't, I don't want to be in the bathroom with you later. You, you, you <laughs> cut the urinal in half. <laughs> uh, Central Florida man was arrested after deputies say he posed as a Walt Disney World cast member and took a Star Wars R two D two. I love how Star Wars in quotes. <laughs> in the hopes that Disney security would hire him. So this was his audition. Okay. See, so here's the thing. Real, it is very rare. I get what the, what he's going for. Because in real life, sometimes, sometimes, you know, an eccentric CEO or something is like, huh, well, this person showed off the, the, the flaws in our security. Guess we, we should hire him to, you know, to uh, to upgrade it. Right. But that happens so rarely. Right. And more happens in fiction 
than in real than in real life. No, this is this is is oh okay. We know now this deficiency in our security. Enjoy jail. <laughs> David Proudfoot, forty four of Kissimmee, is facing a grand theft charge and a charge of obstruction by false information. Orange County uh, Sheriff's Office say on May thirty first, deputies called the Swan Reserve Hotel by Disney security. When they arrived, they made contact with Proudfoot, who they say was wearing beige work pants, an orange work vest, and a Disney name tag. He reportedly identified himself as David Rogers. At first, he said he worked in the receiving division of the Lot Yacht Club Resort in Permi. Affidavit states that Disney security stopped Proudfoot because he was seen by hotel security pushing a cart on the property, and it looked suspicious. Uh, officers offered to help Proudfoot with the cart. It says he appeared confused as to how to get the loading dock. That's when what the hotel's proper procedures were. Um, Proudfoot reportedly told deputies part of his job was to move items from one location to another. His boss's name is James McDaniels. Security says they have no record of anyone named David Rogers working for Disney and that McDaniels works in California. So, uh, um, deputies. Oh, yeah, and, that's, and, that's, and that's the other <clears throat> thing with this. I just realized huh. it's not just that 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 you need that 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 he assumed he could get a job this way he needs to actually succeed in the job yeah it, he it, did it like the security stopped him and they figured out <laughs> yeah he reportedly wanted to show the weakness of the security in the hope of securing a better paying job um they 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 kind of didn't expose anything you just exposed a very inept criminal of all the things to take a fucking R2 unit. I get why. Because if you're going to try for this, then you go for something big and expensive. But it's also really hard to get the fuck out of the park. That's the other thing, too. Like, like you need to, like, change uniform halfway through to, like, like a repair tech saying, oh, I'm taking this to the off-site for, for, for repairs or something. Except why would they do that off-site? I... What, isn't there something else you can steal in Disney World? Like, is there, is there an actual fucking Cinderella slipper or something? Just, you know, something portable. Just, no. find, just find Jiminy Cricket, shove him in your fucking pocket. There you go. What are the, you know, if this thing was remote controlled, you could just, like, you know, direct it out of the park. <laughs> so it's uh, just... Kudos for, for, for like the imagination. You got that down. Everything else you failed at. Uh, okay, speaking of the imagination, I love the audacity of this next one. This guy's amazing. I can see a movie out of this, by the way. Just like, like someone deciding, I'm going to get, you know, you're like an indie film. I'm going to get back the Walt Disney Corporation. We're going to steal an R2-D2. <laughs> It's like, it's like, you know, uh, Escape from Tomorrowland, but not terrible. <laughs> okay, we're going to go to Seattle now for this one. And uh, this, this guy, I, I respect the hustle. Maybe not the execution, but I do respect the hustle. Yeah, okay, um, man arrested after attempting to shoplift 11 cases of beer from Seattle Safeway. That's, that's, yeah. He, he, case of beer, but how he did it is amazing. Man was arrested Monday after attempting to shoplift 11 cases of beer from Safeway. Uh, officers responded to a report, report of a man walking into a Safeway with his own cart. Uh, according to the report, the man loaded 11 cases of beer on the cart and attempted to leave the store. So first of all, no fucks given. He's just walking in there, loading the beer, and leaving. Short and simple. Security guard confronted the man, but the man told the guard if he didn't get by, the guard would be pepper sprayed. Security guard backed off. The man left the store without paying for the beer. However, we come to the hitch. When officers arrived, they found the man across the street attempting to get on a metro bus. Was he going to carry it <laughs> like 11 cases in his hands on the bus? <laughs> But you didn't even arrange for, like, 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 you didn't even have your own car for this? <laughs> your getaway car cannot be the bus. <laughs> that is not, that is not, a, you can't be the bus. <laughs> for one thing, it doesn't go very fast. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I'm still. I'm just still thinking about the logistics of this of having to carry all those. If he because he's, he's not going to bring the cart with him, is he? I I guess maybe. I don't know. Like to be like there at the at the door. Like hold on a second. Let me get my cart full of beer onto the bus. No, no, it's okay. Like okay, you have do you have nobody you could call and be like, hey man, I'm going to do some crime. You could help. Okay, you don't I'll even get- have to say he's gonna do some crimes. You're like, hey man, I got all this beer. Can you pick me? I, I, I'm gonna get all this beer. Can you like pick me up, up, up? Because I need because it's gonna be a lot to carry. I'll give you a case. Yeah, yeah. Just wait out here. I'm gonna go inside and get it. <laughs> all right, I got it. <laughs> the bus is not a getaway. Now I understand it is. It's Seattle, and they actually have public transportation, which is amazing. But you got to kind of adapt your crime around the public transport. It's, it's not, it's, it's, it's not going to, uh, yeah. Yep. I do. You got to admire the, just the sheer audacity of this motherfucker. Yep. Oh yeah. Go in, go out, act as if you own the place. All right. This one, this, this was coming from Michigan, which is yep. here by you. And um, I want to hurt this man. Because I was just, I, on Friday, I just flew back. I had a, I, from, uh, from Colorado. And it was just one cascade of bullshit the whole way. First flight was all right, but then afterwards, apparently something happened in Florida, and a whole bunch of flights got canceled, and that yeah. dominoed, and it was bullshit. Something happened in Florida, you say? So I'm like, yeah, I hate this. This guy? This Okay, I think you're going to be a little pissed at him too. I, I, if you were, if think, just put yourself in this position and see what answer you would give, yeah. and then compare it to what his was. Man turns down ten thousand dollars to give up airplane seat. $10,000 to miss an airline flight. That's what some passengers flying Delta Airlines out of Gerald R. Ford International Airport say they were offered earlier this week. Um, I think a lot of the airlines are doing everything they can to make it a good experience, but $10,000 is a lot, says Pastor Jason Aiden. He and his family are currently enjoying their Alaskan adventure, but just getting there was also an adventure. Um, let's see. I, I, I was... <sighs> We're, I'm mad at multiple things here. Yes. One, I'm mad at him, obviously. Oh, yes. Because with that, $10,000 can buy lots of peanuts. <laughs> exactly. Or in this case, $10,000 can buy you another freaking ticket. $10,000 can buy you a hotel stay overnight. To get another ticket. But but then, but then, see, see, now that makes me mad at him already. Maybe there's some good reason why he could not give it up. I don't, I don't, I don't assume. Maybe it's like, you know, if I do this, you know, my mom may die tomorrow. That's no, not enough. No, 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 no. Here's why. I know $10,000 seems like a lot of money, but you have to realize it doesn't really sink in that this is really what they were offering. And second of all, try to do the math. And now they're going to get everybody to their destination. I've taken bumps, as they call it, plenty of times, but usually that's for a couple hundred dollars, right? So he was confused, is why. But they, they, they thought they were only offering them a few hundred and not 10,000? No, no, he said he's done it before when they've offered a few hundred. It's just this is... The... And they, were, they weren't just like, like saying, oh, here's a voucher. No, no, no. They were like offering either a Visa card with ten thousand dollars on it, or they would just put it in your Apple Pay. That's what the options they were given. Cause yeah, you take you take the money, but then, but then, but then, I'm gonna stop being mad at him for a second <laughs> because now I'm tilting my head here and thinking, wait a second, Delta, you just have. I'm assuming this was, I don't know if he was, they were making this offer to anybody else. About eight passengers. So they'd be you had $80,000 just sitting around? 
to give to people to give up on flights because because i i don't know i i've heard the airline industry is having some problems lately especially and they've had been having problems even before we had a pandemic right when it comes to paying people I don't even make $80,000 in a single year. But you just have that sitting around? Uh, not, not paying the people who are at risk? Doing their jobs? Does he have second thoughts about turning it down now? Quote, don't ask my wife that question, Peyton says with a laugh. Well, good. He should, they, 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 she should be mad at him. Like, like, Sarah, Sarah, if I turned down $10,000 to miss a flight, would you be angry? Okay. I'd want to know what was on fire to make you make that decision. Yeah. $10,000 can bring, can buy many peanuts. <laughs> Uh, all right. Well, now, yeah, you you mentioned it's it's this is oh no, this is Pennsylvania. Sorry, I thought we were going to Florida. I okay. When you see the story, you'll see why I was confused about this one. Um, I I got I I got nothing. Cops, woman naked from waist down claims snakes ate her pants. Woman was found naked from the waist down, told Pennsylvania police that snakes had eaten her pants. Responding last Thursday afternoon to multiple, multiple 911 calls about a half dressed woman walking in the middle of a road 25 miles from Philadelphia, cops found Gloria Harpel, 35, naked from the waist down, and she was rambling. Harpel, Watch out for snakes. <laughs> Arpel, who police suspected of narcotics use, initially said she had put her pants in a storm drain before contending that snakes had eaten them. Arpel, I would have opened with snakes had eaten them because, because I just imagine myself, boy, have I got a funny story to tell you guys. I know this is going to sound <laughs> unbelievable, but snakes ate my pants. It's a whole new meaning to the term trouser snake. Um, <laughs> Harpel, who was reportedly sweating profusely, making nonsensical outbursts, was arrested for indecent exposure, disorderly conduct, and public drunkenness. She was booked in the Montgomery County Jail. The misdemeanor records. I have been drunk. I have never been walking in the middle of the road claiming that snakes ate my pants drunk. I've never been that drunk. Snakes. Why did it have to be snakes? <laughs> Like, if you're seeing reptiles consuming your garments, perhaps reconsider your lifestyle choices at that point. Man, I'm just saying, if I see snakes eating my pants, I just know that I don't mess with snakes. <laughs> I, 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 don't, I, I, I certainly believe that she was probably just, you know, drugged or, uh, drugged or drunk out of her mind. But goddamn, I can believe it because our world is insane. <laughs> Yeah, you know, it's, it's things have kind of jumped a needle lately. Mm. It, it does it does make sense that you know eh, snakes could snakes have eaten her pants? Yes, that's probably not the weirdest thing that's happened. It is not, but I love the fact that like there were multiple people calling nine one one about this. <laughs> so you the pants woman ranting about the snakes. It, that does not seem a good way to spend my app, my, my leisure time. You know, I have so little of it. I, I don't think to myself, you know what? Today, I'm just going to go out the highway and just uh, just let it all flap around. I, I wait a second. Wait a second. I just realized. Does she claim that the snakes ate her underwear as well? Apparently, I guess they had to. Was it like a dessert for them? <laughs> Oh. Yeah, well, guys, we got our main course of jeans, but 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 but, but oh man, because uh. she's naked from the waist down, she doesn't have panties on either. Now we're getting to something distinctly Japanese. I think it's time to move on. I think uh. It's time to move on before we continue this line of thought. Florida, of course. And this one, I 
Okay. No, I... Okay. I'm trying... My segues are kind of crap tonight, but you have to admit... What do I We're got? Kind of all over the place. Well, what do I got? To, how can I do anything with this? Florida man sets boss's house on fire because spirits told him to. Florida man was arrested Wednesday after deputies say he was caught on camera setting his boss's house on fire because spirits told him to. Deputies say that Tron Ha, 54, was caught on multiple surveillance videos approaching the newly constructed St. Petersburg home while riding a bicycle. Ha then locked the bike to a nearby stop sign, walked to the home while attempting to cover his face with his shirt. Five minutes later, Ha was captured on camera running from the home back to his bicycle before he rode away. Deputies say Ha was identified by the potential buyers as one of their employees. He told deputies he was not upset at his employer and he started the fire because spirits told him to. I am the ghost of the anti-work Reddit. <laughs> I just, it... All right. Number one, how did they tell him this? Was it an email? Did they tell him this? Yeah, I mean, did, did, they, did they text him? Was it on WhatsApp? How, how did the spirits tell him to burn out? <laughs> Boss, you're fired. Hey, man, no, your house is fired. Yeah. Huh? Hey, man, I'm a ghost. Oh, okay. What can I do for you? Look, I know this is going to be weird, but can you set this guy's house on fire? He's an asshole. It, it just, it seems to me that's not the kind of thing spirits ask for. If we're kind of, you know. You know, well, you say that. Unless they're at, they're jerk spirits just trying to fuck with you. That's what I was imagining, like a jerk spirit. Or just like someone who wants revenge, but like, like he, they're only like a lower class poltergeist, so they can't really do much. So it's just like, dude, I only have the power to like rattle some, some silverware. Like, like, and I really hated this guy. Can you do me a solid here? Hey, do me a solid. I'm spirit jokes. Hey. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I can see you're being, you're dead. You're bored. And liven stuff up. No, I just. I, <sighs> that's a that's a novel defense, I will say. I, I've not heard that. I don't think the judge has heard that one before. Your Honor, the spirits told me to do it. Like, what's he expecting? Oh, okay. Case dismissed. The spirits are involved here. We're, we're no. Uh, I, uh, you know what? Yeah, the spirits told me. The spirits of Jack Daniel, Jim Bean. <laughs> All right, last one tonight, and uh, we got video. Oh boy! This, oh, good. This, let me let me good. cue that That's up. Great. Let me cue that one up. Where is it? Uh, yeah, here it is. Um, I know we're we're kind of having a moment in America where we're kind of trying to contend as a people with our cops, and uh, it's it's not great. But um, this, this, I don't think is, while it may have been a warranted reaction, I don't think it's the most efficient way, shall we say. Um, let's uh, move it on over here. Let's send, send you the link here. Right, let's get the video going. Um, Vermont father accused of swinging excavator at troopers as they arrested his son. Dashcam footage shows the bucket excavator swinging at the Vermont state troopers. Uh, a Vermont man was arrested for illegally swinging the bucket of an excavator at state troopers as they tried to arrest his son on assault and burglary charges. Wayne Tallman, 52, was charged with aggravated assault on a protected official resisting arrest, impeding and reckless endangerment. Dashcam footage the incident so troopers trying to arrest his son, Brandon Tallman, in the northern Vermont town of Hardwick. As troopers struggled with Brandon, Wayne allegedly hopped into an excavator and started swinging the bucket at the officers. Well, it's a novel. It's, it's new. That's a new one. I mean... You brought a knife to an excavator fight. <laughs> Arkle says, I wish it had been a forklift that would have just been so perfect. 
There he goes. There he goes. Yeah, I'm watching. Come on. Oh, here you go. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, Nelly. Oh, boy. That's a party there. Um, Wayne's wife, Amy Tallman, was also cited for impeding an officer. Um, so pretty much every, they came for the guy's son and everybody in the family just decided, um, yeah, we're, 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 no, which I can understand that he's family. I, 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 I can understand that, but, uh, on the other hand, you're involving construction machinery in a dispute with the authorities. I, I don't think that's uh that's not gonna go well. The excavator can act as a shield. <laughs> I have the superior well I have the high ground. <laughs> oh me oh my. Yeah, this was uh it, it was certainly a creative choice for, for to try to help his son, but Just, I, I don't think it, I'm just, I'm going to say on a hunch, number one, um, if you start swinging construction equipment at the police, they don't like that. Probably not. And number two, there is no situation improved by hitting someone with an excavator. I mean, because if you hit someone with an excavator, yes, you might, you might have a resolution, but there's a mess. You're coming here for assault charges? I would assault you for that. <sighs> See, I'm just thinking to myself, you know, he probably could have had a more effective thing if he had used the excavator on the cop cars. Well, you know, slowed him down at least. Yeah, that that true. That, that actually, yeah, they, like where you going? Nowhere. <laughs> You're not leaving. Um, do you think the lawyer will give him a family rate? Because you got it's a three for one right there, you know, uh, kind of working on on the same case. Oh, me, oh my. It's like you, you got your dad and your mom got arrested. I, I will say something, you know, you, you're going to get him something nice for Christmas. That's for damn sure. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. my dad was willing to try to fight the cops with an excavator for me. Oh, yeah. He's 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 getting he's he's getting, you know, the, the nice golf clubs. He's getting the carbon fiber ones. Those are the good ones. This world's greatest dad bug is going to be made of like some kind of special expensive material. <laughs> uh, Lady Mean Chow says he buried any sort of credibility for his kid. Oh. <laughs> it's nice, you know. Yeah, people are mentioning like Hobbs and Shaw because you know it's family, 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 family. 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 <laughs> so, all right, that's uh, the first. Yeah, thing. No, that's what I want out of a Fast and the Furious movie. I want an excavator fight. <laughs> yeah, and fuck space. We want construction material, construction uh, vehicle smashing into each other. That's what we want. So the, uh, the the first thing we learned this week is um, uh, excavators are not a sound legal strategy. <laughs> It's uh, I, I, tempting, but no. Um, we've learned that if spirits tell you to burn something down, they're fucking with you. I thought only leprechauns did that. <laughs> um, we've learned that uh, just because snakes ate your pants, it's not an excuse to just keep going like nothing happened. I mean, what what other choice did she have to get to make the snakes into her into her pants? <laughs> eh. um, Snake skin pants. We've learned that if you turn down ten thousand dollars for an airplane seat, I will find you and I will hurt you. I don't like, think you have to. I think his wife has got that covered. Oh my god! What the? F just oh god. Um, we've learned if you're attempting to leave the scene of a crime you cannot flee on a city bus it's not a not a good option and finally um we have learned that uh if you go to disney world 
and steal a droid as a job audition, um, they're not going to. You're not getting the job. You're not. It's it's you're you're not impressing anybody there. Like this shit's coming out like at, Apple. Least, at least unless unless you succeed. And he didn't. He didn't even succeed. He didn't even. Like That's I'm, gonna, I'm going to show them the holes in their. Oh, there are no holes in their security. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Uh, Rolling in Simpsons references tonight. Yeah, it, I just. It, oh my god. I'm still pissed that article got that's that is not an R, that is not R2 D2. That is not R2 D2. That is a different R2 unit. I do not know its designation. Nash, you realize that other people aren't nerds like us, right? I expect more of journalists. <laughs> I mean, it is Fox News. 